Muhammadim in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add M to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video. So today I'm going to be doing this reaction alone. I wanted to um, keep myself busy today, so I said, why not do it just a reaction? If you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and of course, the most important thing is to subscribe. So yeah, so today I decided to react to, um, I mean, I'll just read it like it says, White Sister found Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad's name in the Bible. So yeah, I'm eager to find out what this is all about and this is Dr. Zakir, Na Zakir Naik, yeah. So yeah, without wasting any more time guys, let's get into the video. Mics. We have a non-Muslim. Okay, go ahead, sister. Salam alaikum. I'd like to ask if you could shed some light on a verse in the Bible. It's the Old Testament, Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. It's the Hebrew text. Hiko mamitikim vikulo mahamadim. Zidude was a Ra'i Baine Jerusalem. I know that in English, Muhammadim has been translated to altogether lovely. What I'd like to ask is why do Christians not know that Muhammad has been spoken about in the Bible? When the sisters ask the question, she's given the Hebrew of the verse of the Bible from Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, which says, Hikko Mamitakim, Vikulli Muhammadim, Zaidudi Zairai Bayana Jerusalem. Which means, sister only translated one word, it means he's more sweet, he's altogether lovely, he's my beloved, he's my friend. O daughters of Jerusalem. This is the complete translation of the Hebrew verse she quoted. And when it says, Muhammadim. Muhammadim, in the Semitic languages, when you give respect, you add M to it. Like Allah is for God, Elohim is respect for God. The same thing to the name Muhammad, they add M. And it means, it says Muhammadim. So if you read the original text, the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is even mentioned in the Bible. Sister is asking, then why don't the Christians believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Sister, you should ask this question to the Christians. I ask this question to hundreds of Christians. Alhamdulillah, some of them accepted Islam. Most of them did not. So I agree with you that the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of most of the major world religions, including Bible. And as I mentioned earlier, that not only is he mentioned by name, he is even prophesied in various different parts of the Bible. He is prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. He is also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. In several places, sister. So that's what I asked to the Christian. If it's clearly mentioned about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then why don't they believe in him? Those Christians who really study and analyze and do research, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. The others who do not want to accept the truth and say, oh, I have been a Christian for 40 years. Now you want me to change my religion? So they are afraid 
many a time the ego comes in between, many a time the society comes in between, many a time what will my friends tell me, what would my customers tell me. So these things prevent them from accepting the beauty of Islam. What they fail to realize, they wouldn't mind offending their creator just to please their family and their friends. Pleasing our creator is more important than pleasing your family and friends. So those who realize the importance of creator, importance of almighty God, Alhamdulillah, they accept Islam. Sister, I would like to ask you, that are you a Christian or are you a Muslim? I've been studying Islam for about six months. MashaAllah, so do you believe now that there is one God? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. No, I don't. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the messenger of God? Yes. MashaAllah, so if you believe there is one God, you believe Prophet Muhammad, messenger of God, then according to me, you are six months of research. Yes. <laughs> Your six months of research, I brought you to the truth, sister. Pardon, I didn't hear you. Those are tears of joy. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> when a person realizes the truth, that's what even Quran says, that when people hear the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the moment the believer, tears roll from their eyes. So these are tears of happiness, and joy that you have found the truth. As Jesus Christ, peace be upon said in the Gospel of John. Seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. So I believe the truth has freed you today, sister. Your six months of research has brought you to the truth. Sister, would you like to accept Islam? <laughs> sister, would you like to accept Islam? Yes. Is anyone forcing you? Absolutely not. You are doing out of your own free will? Yes. Inshallah, say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. That is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And the servant of Allah. Servant. servant of Allah. MashaAllah, sister, you are a Muslim. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as He has guided you, may Allah make you a source to guide the other non-Muslims towards Islam. And I pray to Allah to grant you the best in this world and the akhirah and to grant you Jannah paradise, inshallah. Well, that was quite interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh. I really wish um, I saw this video with my partner. It's always interesting to watch something with someone. Like I'm lost for words. I'm very, very speechless. The message will always be good. The message will always be good. I'm sure she was searching and she found she finally found what she was looking for. This is where she found peace. It's really really just a nice thing to see. I like how I don't know if she was Christian before. I just like the fact that she made mention that it's it's just a happy video, like my thoughts are all over the place, but good for her and good for everything i hope this makes her happy i just like the fact that she made mention that no one forced her to convert these people were coming the way he responded to her question was quite nice getting to the point that she made is muhammad is in the bible so what i would like to know so what does that exactly mean for christians does it mean that christians um should convert or does that just mean that maybe we've got the same 
maybe Christians and maybe Christians and Muslims actually have the same maybe disciples or people I don't know I don't know what to think but otherwise the message was insane and if some some Christ I believe some Christians are actually aware that Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible and they actually don't dispute it what others I mean they choose to believe whatever they want to believe you really can't force someone to believe into something that they don't want to I guess that's ignorance but then if he's mentioned I'm looking forward to look into these verses that he mentioned just to see what what said what those scriptures say or chapters rather it's, it's amazing it's mind-blowing I really didn't know I personally didn't know that um, Muhammad was mentioned in the Bible it's something something it's, it's really something I don't even know how to quit it's just something I really can't wait to share these um, chapters with my sister so we see what we can what's there to say or what's there to know that's a, that's the beauty that lies in reactions you get each and every reaction that we do gets us to um, makes us more open to things that we're not aware of it just gives us more information more information more information and I like the fact that people are willing to people actually tell you to look deep into something if you believe in this it's beautiful I just like the fact that she had other people supporting her at the end of the video people surrounded her that's it shows that you're welcoming this person it doesn't matter their past it doesn't matter whatever they did back then but now now is the moment so welcome to our religion and everything else so yeah anyway guys let me know what you feel about this reaction and if there's anything else that i've left out please educate me down in the comment section before i mean you can agree with me disagree with me doesn't really matter as long as information is being passed back and forth you can also check you will also find in our description down below that we've got a patreon if you want to support us you can go there that's what we'll be putting certain videos that can go on youtube and maybe just extra videos on the other side and for youtube like i said let me know what you feel about this video or how you feel about my reaction share this with your friends and of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and enjoy your day